Nutrition. I'm Mary Trimble and I'm doing a big giveaway this month. I will be announcing the winners the week uh, following Thanksgiving. So I believe it's the, the 27th. Now, I am going to be giving away my Divinely Inspired Abundance Spray. And it works, guys. It's an ancient formula um, with a little bit more added in. And that is, um, I think it's on sale on my website right now for $20, $19.99, something like that. And I also will be giving away my love potion, love potion number one, because there's none better. <laughs> and I use real human pheromones in these, uh, this for these formulas. There are two formulas, one to attract men and one to attract women. And the value of that is $33. Um, what else am I giving away? Oh, I'm giving away something that I make for myself and my uh, friends and family. But I make this beautiful, um, You won't, don't worry, I'll be making you a new one. You won't have this badge. <laughs> but it's a sugar scrub, a body sugar scrub. And it has got, it's full of a blend of organic oils and um and it goes on and it's organic uh, brown sugar um golden sugar actually and uh raw and it's just a lovely feeling and when you get out of the shower you just feel so soft and vibrant and it also i put the blend of essential oils uh abundance essential oils in there too lovely Ooh love this stuff um so and a 30 minute personal individual reading for you so you can ask a few questions and i'll record the video and send it to you and these lovely presents will be coming in an envelope to you <laughs> so how you enter to win these you just have to subscribe to my channel make your uh subscription public so i can see that you subscribed comment on the videos like them and share we'll be announcing the winners in uh the week of the 27th i believe that monday right after thanksgiving so guys Hello, gemini and welcome to your reading for november the uh 13th through november the 19th and this is a general reading. Please, if you have a dilemma or an important decision, contact me for a personal private reading. The information will be below. Um, this is for your sun, moon and rising. So if you know your moon and rising, then the, uh, the links to those videos, the other videos will be below too. So take a look at them because it will give you a fuller picture of whatever's going on. Um, now you know about the the uh, giveaway so I don't have to mention any of that thank you so much for all your love I appreciate and I love you all let's go to your cards your message for the week this is the general energy for the week Gemini the first card that comes up is the hermit right this is really interesting because it came up with the ace of swords right underneath the ace of swords which is saying that you really need to go inside and meditate because when you do i always say look when you meditate when we meditate let me put it as the we when we meditate we connect with a divine energy within us right that's in all of us this beautiful light that's inside us all and in that light are all these downloads of information, you know, past, present, future, all this information is available to all of us, right? So when we clear the mind and we connect with the divine, we have a direct line to that information, right? So it's interesting that you got the Ace of Swords because the Ace of Swords are new, brilliant ideas, right? Of innovative it's like knowledge you know it's and it's a brilliant idea so you will um get some uh, you'll get an, a wonderful incredible idea if not one others that you can actually put into practice so um definitely 
go inside. Go inside, Gemini. This is very important um, for you to meditate and quiet in the mind. Now, we have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands signifies that you've got too much going on. You have kind of prom over promised things. It's I always say this is like the people pleasing card, or you know, you've you've said I'll do. It. It's also kind of a control thing. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know, and then you can't follow through. Now underneath it is the Three of Swords. So this is saying that taking all this stuff on. Overpromising is actually really going to hurt you. It's it's really I always say it hurts you more. You know when we it's it's always funny because people pleasing behavior actually has the opposite effect. It doesn't please people. It displeases people. Um, I feel that you must drop some of these responsibilities. You've got to delegate. If you have a team, trust your team. You know um, you don't have to do everything. If you need help, ask for help. I, I feel that I, I'm getting for some of you that you feel betrayed, um, that you're maybe that you're not getting the help that you have asked for, um, or that you think that people should know that you get. And I always say when you're kind of in here, you are weighing yourself down. You are just, you, you know. This is like carrying baggage from the past. Oh, okay. Um, okay. This is what I'm getting. Um, this is carrying a heartache from the past and betrayal of something. And it's weighing you down. Um, you, this needs to be healed. Gemini. You've had, uh, you've really been, and this is some of you, of course, have been really hurt. You, you've had your heart broken or betrayed by a really good friend. And and, um, and it's blocking you from moving forward and really um, enjoying life. Um, now, what's really interesting is that... Um, so this, this has to be... You, it's like you've got to... Okay, first of all, you've got to look at this pain. And this is a perfect opportunity to look at the pain, you know, in this season. You've got to really look at this pain. You've got to own it, bring it in. Don't deny it because you're kind of, you're bogged down by, by it, by not looking at it, right? So it's almost like you've got to face this pain head on and take it into your heart Look at it, explore it, and let it go. Release it. This has got to be released because it's really blocking you. It's blocking you from this incredible... I mean, I want to show you the cards now next, right? Heal your heart. Heal that hurt. Heal that betrayal. You have to come from a place of love. And you can't when you're here. But when you go inside and you're the hermit and you meditate, you're going to get these brilliant ideas, you know? You're going to, you're, you'll be able to move forward, but the, you've got to look at that. You've got to heal that heart. You really do, Gemini. Now, the next card's the Ace of Water, unconditional love, right? <laughs> An unconditional love, coming from a place of love, unconditional, coming from that energy of love, trust and love, right? It's like that new essence, that seed of love, the excitement. This is like mother and child love. It's like unconditional love, right? Unconditional love will bring, bring lightness into the dark. You've got the moon underneath. When you can let this go and you can heal this hurt and betrayal and move on from it, you're just going to experience this. You're going to, first of all, your psychic abilities are really being enhanced, right? But this is blocking you. This is blocking you. So when you go inside, right, when you meditate and you connect with design, divine source energy, you are going to... You'll be able to tap into that unconditional love and feel that love. You, first of all, you cannot 
compare this three-dimensional world love from the outside to that incredible deep well of just glorious love within that light when you connect with that there's no comparison it kind of you know it kind of you know this three-dimensional love and a love from another person is almost like addictive because you can't get enough you can't get it can't compare with the divine love inside that wonderful unconditional love so go inside to get that love because when you do I see the ten of water which is all your emotional needs are being met you just feel incredible this is just a wonderful fulfilling look look it's the happy Buddha the laughing Buddha ten of water don't you love the look at that gorgeous picture Go within. Going within will heal this. You're going to heal this. Once you heal this, you're going to be off to the races. You're going to, you're really going to, you're going to come from a place, you're going to feel that unconditional love. You're going to have light um, spread about in the dark. Where it was once dark, it's going to be light. Your whole life will open up. I mean, you're just going to feel incredibly wonderful. This beautiful, fulfilling feeling. Satisfying in every way. I mean, you know, it's just perfection. Perfection. So when you feel that... You've got to, yeah, go in, really, I can't, I can't, I can't say it any other way. Meditation is so important. Um, connect with that divine energy because you will heal this by doing that. You'll be able to see the truth. You're going to see the truth in this situation. And once you see it, you'll be able to release it, you know? So it's about looking at the truth. You know, this is an incredible thing because on the 18th is the new moon. And this is a beautiful time to set an intention and healing. Um, so I really feel that to move forward, you need to just heal this heart. And take a look at it, you know. And when you meditate, look, this you've got the hermit. See, when you come through a situation like that, and you come through the other side and you're feeling this incredible, wonderful energy. You're going to be able to hold the light up for other people to do that. You'll be able to show them how to, you know, move beyond a broken heart and, and that feeling of betrayal. So it's, you know, life is about uh, remaining teachable, right? And it's about teaching and remaining teachable. Because we are all students and we're all teachers. You know, we learn from every experience and every person put into our life. You can learn from this. And, and you can heal from this. This is, you can heal from this. And when you heal from it, this pain and this, um, and, and this betrayal, this feeling of betrayal and this pain is blocking you. It's holding you back. Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful, blessed, introspective healing week. I love you all. I'll see you next week. For a personal reading, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.